The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Woo! Jeremy, Jeremy. Yeah. You know, I think it says a lot about me that I get that kind of a round of applause, <laughs> even with the introduction from your shrill, obnoxious, <laughs> grating fucking voice. Yeah, I know. And the fact that people have to hear that and they still have the energy in them to applaud really says a lot about me. Yeah. And it says even less about you. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> that was, it was one, a, it wasn't even a, a something that deserved a rim shot. <clears throat> Two, that's the weakest fucking rim shot that I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but we also have uh, the, the man back. He is the 2021 Wichita's funniest person, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Woohoo! Anyways, um, welcome in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, first of all, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And also, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not the thing that you're into, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Goodbye. Uh, but we got a lot. We got a lot of stuff. This is going to be a fun episode. I guarantee it. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to go over. We've got some uh, some sports news to talk about. We've got real shit, horseshit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated, questions and preguntas, another draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we get to the fun stuff, let's talk about what happened to us over the last uh, week. Uh, we call it our week, week recap. Uh, so, Derek. Yeah. Go for it, dude. Well, last week, I didn't do anything but watch baseball and work. That's a great so that's day. That's a great it, week. Yeah, there were, were a lot of 14-hour days. It kind of wore me out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, pussy. Um, but uh, Memorial Weekend was an interesting one. What do you got? Uh, we went, I went camping, kind of. Sweet. Uh, stayed in my buddy's camper. Uh, me and my wife and him all hung out there. And so you went glamping. I guess that's what you call it. Uh, they let a rooster out at the lake. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the fucking, How else are you going to know when to wake up? The fucking thing had a spur on it this fucking long. Oh, were they fighting it? No. Oh. They just <laughs> let him out there. Sure. So there's this fucking rooster walking around. Okay. And at one point, uh, they had this one lady come out because we stayed there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. And I think it was Saturday night. Uh, first, there's these two kids that come over that are camping across the way or whatever. And their dad gave him a rusty steak knife and told him to go catch the rooster. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can, can I ask you a quick question about that that rooster? Yeah. Did it spur jingle, jangle, jingle? <laughs> no, uh, jangle, okay. jingle, jangled. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's ass backwards. Yeah. yeah. That's a backwards cock. So, yeah, there's these two kids running around with a fucking dull, rusty steak knife trying to catch a rooster. Okay. Like, so that's real response. I think the oldest sure. one probably could have been maybe 10. Run with this fucking knife. Yeah, yeah. Run <laughs> catch real fast. an animal and do something with it. Uh-huh. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. sacrifice this thing so we can pray to our dark lord Satan <laughs> before we eat this for dinner raw. What if those uh -oh. kids really knew how to fucking clean a chicken? <laughs> yeah. And got one up. What if they were just fucking experts? They weren't Puerto Rican. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> you didn't say that. I, yeah. I never assume anything. Jesus. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. They were. Uh, <laughs> of course they were. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so what we, what we did do uh, after that, this lady came, came out to visit and hang out with us. I guess it was a friend of one of the other guys that we were hanging out with mm -hmm. and uh, who camps out there also all year. And she <coughs> was hammered drunk 
and probably one of the most annoying women I've ever met in my life. I hope she listens to this. I hope so, too. <laughs> because for the, those of you that don't live here, it was... she was, half Japanese? No. no. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Oh, of course. Uh, no. Uh, honky all the way. Oh, nice. But uh, she uh, was awful. Hmm. She basically just kept screaming about the wind. And for those of you that don't live here, it was a very, very windy weekend. It was. And uh, all I heard, and I think I'd do her voice to a T, mm -hmm. any time the wind would blow. Mm -hmm. Any time. You'd hear, this fucking wind! <laughs> Make it stop! I hate it here! <laughs> and you didn't enjoy that. <laughs> This fucking wind! <laughs> oh my god! And so then she she uh, sounds a lot like the host of this show, <laughs> right? Yeah, thanks, man. Then she randomly starts talking to me about her ex husband, which I wonder why he's the ex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she, uh, as she was talking to me, she's like just talk, trying to have a conversation, but she's like poking me in the chest as she's talking about him, and I'm like, was she drunk? I'm oh assuming. yeah, she. Okay. Uh, okay. At one point, the guy that she was ha came out to visit, uh, she didn't know where he went, and he was two chairs over. Oh, oh, yeah. And then I guess she fell face first in the grass and laid there for about forty five <laughs> minutes at one point. <laughs> oh God! And then they're all, and she came. The you other girl get away from that wind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other girl that she was with was in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did find out. I guess she was paralyzed in a car accident and. Oh. Was they, she single? They uh, they were both like fifty five. Like the, this guy. That's not what I asked. I said obnoxious I, woman. No, do you know any paralyzed woman that's single? <laughs> Jesus, I don't. <laughs> okay, they're all taken. They yeah. have to be. Uh, uh, so have but, to be okay, there. was this the obnoxious woman was paralyzed no, or her friend? No, no. They God picked the wrong one. <laughs> um, he does so, that. He he tries us all. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> At one, we wake up the next morning, and she's, like, walking around trying to get us all to do this shot of vodka, mm -hmm. which none of us want. And so, like, I think that's the earliest I've ever went to bed camping. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not dealing with this shit. <laughs> so we all bail at, like, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's early. Yeah. So Fuck. Except for uh, her, her friend, and then our buddy Jeff that she's hanging out with. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the next morning, they're like, oh, shit. I think she's still here. I'm like, I wonder if Jeff fucked her. <laughs> and uh which he didn't okay. but uh there's her bottle of vodka and then like her camping chair is still there so i was like oh shit she stayed the night and then they were like no she left her chair here i was like wouldn't it be weird if the other friend left her chair here <laughs> how funny would that be mm -hmm. that'd be hilarious um, to me that sounds like free chair <laughs> yeah, right yeah. yeah that's what i said when they wanted me to announce a, a lost child at the ballpark there it is well fuck free child <laughs> uh did you say that? Please tell me you did. <laughs> I really wanted to. Um, God, so we're dark. And then this was the worst. This is this this happened too. Uh, the next night while we're out there drinking around the fire, I didn't know this was a thing. Some RV had a fucking karaoke system on the outside of it. Oh fuck yeah! With a microphone. Mm -hmm. We know how you love karaoke. At midnight, <laughs> it's like, oh, this is wonderful. Oh, it was with the that worst. Wind? With that oh. fucking wind. <laughs> Yeah, I guarantee if Jeff fucked her, you'd have heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was talking about that. I was like, she's just gonna be laying there going, This fucking dick <laughs> <laughs> It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so But that is not the end all of the story. By the way, that fucking karaoke thing went on till like one thirty in the fucking morning. Anybody plays with, with a full microphone? It's like you know, I sure love how Journey sounds, but how's Greg do it? Hear <laughs> his rendition. I'd like to hear his take on yeah. it. his remix. Yeah. Oh fucking that was this one of the Stain songs. Oh, it's, oh. Been, it's been a while. Yes, that's it. And it was, but it wasn't that. It Not was long enough. It was. It's been a while. <laughs> Wow! Oh, that's fucking and, uh, great. Yeah, it was fucking fantastic. <laughs> and uh, there's one other thing that we did while we were out there. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm waiting to hear the most important part. <laughs> oh, this is this is. Uh, so I've done mushrooms three times in my life. Okay, oh, shit. <laughs> this was the third this, time. This wasn't. <laughs> this wasn't where I saw this going. No. <laughs> so we were going to do them Saturday. Which is probably a good thing we didn't, because I would have seen tripping balls, two children running with a rusty steak knife after a rooster, and I probably would have seen that fucking win! So it's a good thing I didn't do it that night. 
Now, the first time I ever did mushrooms, nothing mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. I did. Uh, were two, they out of a can? Uh, they were portobellos. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I did, Delicious. Uh, yeah, they were <laughs> fucking tasty. No, I did uh, two grams. We all did. And then I did one more gram, and then nothing And I, nothing happened. Hoity toity metric motherfucker. The second time I did, I think, five. And I could see, like, my buddy has wallpaper in his camper that's got, like, dashes all over well, it. he didn't until you took the mushroom. <laughs> and, and, and it kind of moved a little bit, and okay. I kind of got giggly. And I'm like, okay, well. So this time was a completely different batch. I haven't done them since Labor Day of last year. This time was a completely different batch. He's like, these could be good. They could be bad. I don't, they could suck. I don't know. But I go, okay, well, how many are you doing? He's like, I'll probably do three grams, three and a half. I'll probably do three and a half. And uh, so I'm like, all right. I do eight. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So I'm putting these things on chips. They taste like shit. <laughs> but I'm putting these things on chips. I eat this like, whole. Like potato chips? Potato or that, chips. Not no, the, poker. I put them on poker chips. Uh, I didn't know if you meant <laughs> like, that 70s motorcycle cop show. <laughs> I'm like, I raise you uh, 200 and one gram. <laughs> oh, God. No, I'm putting them on these uh, off-brand potato chips. And I'm fucking mowing them down. And then all of a sudden... I finally get all eight grams down, and then I took my bottled water that was in that little cup and swirled it, dumped some of that in there that was in the mushroom cup, swirled it around, and drank it. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm like, well, why not? Let's, why not? When in Rome. <laughs> so, when at the lake? Uh, and this was noon. We took these at 12, 15 p.m. <laughs> oh, shit. Because uh, I've never done them during the day, and my buddy's like, we should day trip. I'm like, okay, fuck it. So I finish them. We go out. We sit out on the gravel where his camper is. And about 30 minutes go by, 45 minutes, and I can finally start to see the gravel kind of swirl a little bit. Uh-huh. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. And it's going into one of our buddies. Like, it's it's like everybody's feet are starting to kind of go into it a little bit. And I'm like, this is pretty cool. And then a car pulls up. And I go, somebody's here. And I look over, and he's like, oh, it's my parents. And oh. my parents are coming out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, his parents are fucking hippies. So okay. nice. they're cool. So, But the thing is... Is it was his parents, and then he didn't know, but his two bro- older brother or his brothers are coming, which they're adults also, sure. right? But it's his parents and his two brothers, and his mom just never stops talking. She <laughs> is the sweetest lady. She makes fucking kick ass jelly, but she fucking never stops talking. So she, between her talking to my to my my wife was there with us before her talking to my wife, me. And him, and then his brother is starting to have a conversation with me about his ex-wife and how his daughter wants a car and his ex-wife's a bitch and what's it like getting to call baseball games. And and then I'm listening to his mom still can constantly talk, and then the music's going, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fucking puke. <laughs> so I go in the camper, and I'm like, fuck, this is not good. Like, I feel like I'm going to get sick. I've got my finger down my throat trying to throw up. I go in that bathroom, and I was like, look at the wallpaper. I was like, nope. (laughs) I turn back around. I go onto the comforter. I go to lay down, which was a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting down. I'm I'm laying down. I'm sitting up. I'm laying down. I'm sitting up. And then at one point, and it's just me really in there, finally he comes in, and he's like, uh, I'm like, dude, this is not good. Like, I feel like I'm going to get sick. I don't know. I'm fucking drenched in sweat. I'm gripping my, I've got my belt on. I've got my hands around my belt. I'm squeezing it as tight as I can. I'm like, I I fucking, how long is this fucking song? (laughs) Like, it keeps playing. And then uh, he's like, well, I don't know, dude, you just got to ride it out. It is what it is. And one other buddy walks in. He goes, I I had to see this. I know you a big boy, but eight? (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, fuck off, man. Yeah, you owe me like, a little bit. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I did fucking four times as much as anybody else did almost. <laughs> so uh, now I'm laying down, and his dad walks in. His mom look, walks in two times, two or three times. She's like, you okay? I said, no. <laughs> and she goes, well, you look, you look like you got too much sun. I said, yeah, I think so. She's like, you need to lay down. I'm like, okay. So I lay down, and then I s- sit back up. And I'm down, and I'm up, and then his mom walks in, and she's like, are you okay? And I said, no. She goes, I think you got too much sun. I think you need to lay down. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so I lay down, I'm and I'm not up. laying down. <laughs> and I lay down, and I sit back up again, and then his mom walks in, and she's like, are you okay? I'm like, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> so then his dad walks in. He's like, well, we're going to take off. And he grabs his toolbox, and he leaves. 
And about five minutes later, his dad walks in and goes, well, we're going to take off, which was apparently grabbing his cooler this time. Mm. But I thought, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and then he leaves, and then he comes Did he back come in. come with a toolbox? <laughs> yes. Okay. And then he goes, well, we're going to take off. And I'm like, God damn it, I'm living in a goddamn loop. I'm never going to get out of this shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is real. And then I look over at my dog on the bed who has four heads and one eye in the center of her fucking head. And I go, holy shit, she doesn't have any legs. <laughs> because they're gone. That's, that's what you noticed. Yeah. Not the four heads. Oh, the four heads were moving no around. Legs. And I thought she was shitting on the bed, which she wasn't, but I was screaming that she was. And then at one point, I thought I ran into the lake, uh -huh. all the way through the lake. I'm like, I don't know what, I got to work. I don't, I work. My boss's name, his name, <laughs> I like to start saying uh -huh. my boss's name. And then I'm like, hey, where's uh, our buddy that kept that asked about the eight? I kept asking where the fuck he was at. And then there's one kid when we were outside that is walking over by the swing set. And he's walking towards us. And I'll be damned if that wasn't Jesus Christ <laughs> himself. <laughs> and the swings were actually uh, camels <laughs> in the back. <laughs> and this all lasted for like four and a half hours. Oh, that couldn't have got old <laughs> no <way>. at all. <laughs> Holy shit. Of hearing you fucking freak out. I thought I, I shit my pants. I would, have, <laughs> I would have rather heard somebody bitch about the wind. I know, right? <laughs> was Jesus walking on the lake? And <laughs> he was walking on that fucking wind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and then... Uh, the, the job I used to work at, uh, someone's like, hey, uh, so-and-so, I think, just messaged me. She wants to know if you'll work for her. And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> that is not a good idea. That is a bad idea. <laughs> now, I will say this. Mm -hmm. That last, when I finally started to unfreak out a mm -hmm. little bit, that was probably the best I've ever felt in my whole fucking life. <laughs> okay. The moral of the story is do drugs. <laughs> sure. um, right. right. But, but, like, I was, I didn't think about anything i was trying to think about something mm -hmm. and i had nothing in my head to think about oh, i wish i could get to oh that. Yeah. dude that's what i'm saying i wish i could get to and that. i was like do i work tomorrow and my wife's like no honey you don't work tomorrow and i was like when did we get here i didn't know what day it was and i was like when did we get here she's like we got here friday i said oh well, what's today <laughs> sunday i work tomorrow no honey you don't work tomorrow huh I couldn't fathom it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why. And then as we're driving. You couldn't remember Memorial Day. Uh, wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so as, as then we go, my buddy has a golf cart. We're driving around the lake on the golf cart. And I started to talk to him about something. And I completely lost my train of thought. And I was like, you know what? I don't even know what I was saying. He's like, I said, do I drink alcohol? He goes, not very well. <laughs> awesome. So are you going to leave us hanging? What do you mean? Do kids ever get that fucking rooster? <laughs> They did not. That's all I've been wondering <laughs> yeah, about this whole time. Shit. That was the so, other shit I was talking so, about, too, what? on the mushroom. I was like, there's a rooster right there. <laughs> and I'm, like, looking out the fucking window. Would have been like that scene in Young Guns. Yeah. When they all did peyote. Uh-huh. You guys! <laughs> oh, my you wife. You see the size of that goddamn chicken? <laughs> my wife doesn't know what to do. She's trying to comfort me a little bit. And she's like, honey, none of this is real. It's all bullshit. None of it's real. And I go, her. we live in a simulation? <laughs> oh, my God. Am I alive right now? <laughs> like, like, it was fucking nuts. Oh, great. Great. Mm -hmm. That's a fun time. Mm -hmm. Should have probably closed on that. Yeah. With, on, our, on our weeks. You should have probably gone last. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I got nothing I compared, not to compared to that. To well, that. that was a long story. I, I, I missed last week. So. That's true. Good point. That's true. The people demand to know my week. That's true. Yeah, right. Um, so over the last week, uh, it's not even close to as uh, entertaining as that was. I uh, broke uh, two iPhones. I've had uh, two iPhones. I broke one a couple of months ago. And You're I not broke, supposed uh, to stick those things up your ass. Guy. Yeah, I know, right? This, the sphincter is really, really tight. You're really testing that connection. I am. Uh, but I ended up having to get two phones fixed. They still uh, cost me less than what a new phone did, so I'm going to do that from this point on. I can't believe you had to get three phones fixed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, three. <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Um, should have did that but yeah, i did I, still can i i did some cruel and unusual torture on my wife i made her watch all three of the lord of the rings movies was she not dry enough already being married to you <laughs> no 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 i could do it i'm telling you one thing that'll get my wife hot is vigo mortensen in that movie <laughs> i get a little wet myself he's kind of hot in that i don't know who that is okay 
Aragorn. Oh, yeah. Uh, but for those of you guys that don't know and aren't Lord of the Ring fans, they are extremely long mm-hmm. movies. Extremely long movies. The theatrical releases were like almost three hours each. Uh huh. And guess which ones we watched? We watched the extended, the extended version. Which are of closer it. to four. Four hours for the first one. I think it was three hours and forty-five for the second one. And the granddaddy of them all, the Return of the King, I think was four hours and forty-five minutes. Oh, it's not that long. Woo! All I know is it came on two VHSs whenever it came out on VHS, and we watched the whole fucking thing. So I give her kudos. But probably I came on one VHS. It used to be my dad's that he kept in his closet. <laughs> yeah, did yeah. you? Uh huh. Several times. I'm sure you did. Uh, but that was the tape he used to snort coke off mm-hmm. of. <laughs> At least that's yeah, what he thought it was. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just it, was, jizz it chips. was just residue. <laughs> jizz chips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but the culmination <laughs> of my week was we. <laughs> I have been looking to – we have a, a, a hibachi grill here in Wichita. We have two of them that whenever you go in there, you have to have a reservation, and you got to eat all this expensive food. But they make the best fucking fried rice on the planet. Both of these places, there's two. It's Sumo and Kobe Steakhouse. And I would love to just go <clears throat> and get the fried rice. But at Kobe's, which is one that's closer to our side of town, um, you cannot order the rice to go. That pisses yeah, me off. You can't anymore, I asked. Because I I was really craving it one night, and they basically told us to fuck off. There is a place in town. Hold on, I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting there. Well, we got referred to one of uh, my wife's coworkers. Hey, you need to go try this place. And their rice is either the exact same or better than the hibachi steakhouses that we've been going to. Is it hibachi boy? Mr. Miyagi's, Uh, baby. That is the shit. And the best part is they give you a fucking huge-ass box of it. And and at the Kobe Steakhouse, it's like a tiny little fucking bowl. Like, get fucked. No, they give you a giant Mm -hmm. fucking box of it, and it's like 10 bucks. And then you can add shit to it, like shrimp and chicken and shit. It's fucking amazing. I hope your wife shamed you the whole time you were eating it. Oh, no. I don't give a fuck. We've had it. We know that, Scotty. (laughs) Obviously. We've had it three times in the last five days. That's that's it's that's a lot of good. carbs, dude. It's uh, a lot of carbs. That's why I'm putting on the I, weight. You're turning Japanese. I am turning I really Japanese. I think so. I do too. Um, wax on, wax off. That's my no. Work. There's there's another place in town called Hibachi Boy, uh-huh. which serves the same exact type of food except without the show. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But you can get that to go. Okay. Um, I like to think they're back there in the kitchen still flipping <laughs> knives and shit around. <laughs> <laughs> they're still doing the whole egg roll. Butterfly, all that shit. <laughs> yep. Doing like, the hey. fucking onion volcano for nobody. Now they just throw your change in your mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, you got 38 cents back. Open up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, if you wouldn't have been fucking around. <laughs> I, that was I, a nickel. <laughs> after the show, we can discuss what the best fried rice deals are in town because I know a better place. Okay, fine. Uh, but yeah, that was my week. Jeremy? Yeah. How was your week, dude? Uh, well, it started off after the show last week trying to drive home. That was a treat. <laughs> yeah. It rained like a motherfucker <laughs> here. And for those who don't know, Wichita has <clears throat> maybe the worst drainage plan of any city in America. We are prone to flash floods. That's including and they Houston. Are, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and New Orleans. Houston, New Orleans, they got nothing. Anywhere in North Carolina, <laughs> Florida, they got nothing on us yeah. yeah, as far as bad drainage goes. So I'm just driving along. I had to go the back way because it was kind of flooded getting out of here. I'm going down Central, and oh, just oh, fuck. all of a sudden, I get to Central in 235, and my hood is underwater. Holy shit! My car just kept fucking trucking along, and it's like... At this point, I can't stop. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm a half a block away from where I need to be. I'm going to be worse off if I stop and try and go somewhere else. So, yeah, it just plugged right through it. But there were several places where it got up to headlight level, oh, uh-huh. mm-hmm. even on the interstate. And, um, yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeremy's it, it fashion was awful. a sale. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my basement out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Volvo gets uh-huh. through it, baby. I, I brought my dehumidifiers just in case, so I'm out there <laughs> drying the place up. <laughs> at first, at first, all seriousness, I'm br- br- Jeremy just got five big fans. Like, mm-hmm. br- puts them in the middle of West Street. <laughs> Probably eight thousand uh-huh. dollars, city of Wichita. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Break breaking character. This is what I do for a living with vehicles and getting them serviced. Uh, don't fucking drive through any water. 
I have now like seven vehicles sitting on our lot right now. All of them all say, for yeah, sale. I, I, yeah, no, no, <laughs> they had sales on them because they <clears throat> intook they their intake sucked in a shitload of water and fucking cashed engines, and they're like, "Well, my extended warranty cover that." Fuck no, you moron! Call your insurance. So it, yeah, it don't just do that. Barely shit. got over the front of the hood. I knew it wasn't going to get in the intake from there. Yeah, but yeah, it was. Uh, that was probably the most scared I've ever been. Well, driving. you haven't you yeah. haven't seen an Italian Greyhound with four heads. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> Well, I wouldn't be driving if I did. Yeah. I would be stopping off trying to kill it with a fucking steak knife. <laughs> <laughs> or at least trying to get a couple of kids to. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, Jim. Uh, so, uh, also, a couple of weeks ago, I lost my pocket knife. Oh. And it's my favorite fucking pocket knife I've ever had. And I love that knife. And I found out the best way to find a pocket knife is to go spend a bunch of money on a brand new pocket knife. <laughs> and as soon as you fill out the, uh, the warranty information on it for the lifetime warranty, yeah, then you'll, you'll find your old one. Um, that's exactly what happened to me. Did you use your cutting knife or your stabbing knife? Uh, this one was my slicing knife. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Pretty important. But no, I, I got a badass fucking knife, which, check this out. <laughs> Never had one that does this. Oh, a switchblade, yeah. <laughs> With a glass breaker, hit his phone. <laughs> no, 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 no. What this thing cost you? Uh, a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it does. But it's it's a hell of a cool hell of a blade on it. Hey, get the fuck! Don't kill me. So yeah, this is something the half-ass killer would use because he could just hold it up to him <laughs> and just we yeah. don't have to stab. That's him. not how you do it. If you're the half-ass killer, here push this. Uh, yeah. yeah, push it. Push yeah, it. Re- now run into it. <laughs> lean, lean against this and, and flip that switch. <laughs> so. Yeah. Throw uh, your window at that glass breaker, please. <laughs> right. So I, if those kids would have had this knife, I think they probably could have got that rooster. Um, <laughs> So, anyways, then uh, let's see. I watched uh, the first half of the last season of Stranger Things. Mm, nice. Um, I have not, not watched it yet. Not really sure what's happening or where it's going, but I can tell you, Millie Bobby Brown has not gotten any more interesting. <laughs> uh, God, how in the fuck does she keep getting roles? I, I am not a Stranger Things fan. Oh. So, well, if Jeremy well, doesn't like it, it's got to be pretty good. Yeah. And sure. then. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. One one last thing. I wanted to give a shout out to this guy. He's on TikTok. His name is Junk Wax Sal. Have you guys seen him? No. I he, might have. He opens a bunch of old yes. vintage baseball card. Yes. Oh things. yeah, I have. Yeah, I have seen the guy. He, he it's for me that when he's opening those packages, that's that's ASMR. Yeah, I, I, know. Fo- I follow yeah. him. And yeah. um, the other day, he's always going on about apparently Harold Baines. Yes. And, and yes. I I get. I get what he's talking about because in the 80s and 90s, every pack of cards you got had a Harold Baines in it. And just to piss him off, some one of his fans sent him a box with 6,000 <laughs> Harold Baines cards in it. He looked through all of them. They were all Harold Baines from different years. <laughs> and so I don't know who it was that sent those, but I love that guy. <laughs> Whoever did it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. A round of applause for that guy. Yeah, yeah. It must have cost that guy like $30. Uh, almost. <laughs> almost. That's... I'm guessing he just had them and he took them out of the spokes uh, of his bike. Yeah, no shit. No, you don't spoke up a Harold Baines. No, no. <laughs> I think you do. You, you, you <laughs> smoke it up. That's no, what you do. No, you, you smoke a like Rock Reigns. You, sure. you don't smoke a Harold Baines. You Fair smoke enough. Rock Reigns. You know who we need to send this guy? Who? Oh, we need to send all the cards we have of oh. Vinny Ogbayani. Yeah. Yeah. All, I think. None of them. I think, uh, <laughs> I think he's more of a Randy McCammett guy. Randy yeah, McCammett he's, guy? I wonder okay. how many McCammots he's got. <laughs> but yeah, every every time he opens a pack, he says, you know, here's the big valuable one that we're looking for. Never seen him. Fan <laughs> Never. <one>. Ever. <laughs> He's he's actually intentionally bought old packs with the the clear coat on uh-huh. there just because Harold Baines is in the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love that guy. All right, well, sorry, long that was a long uh, week. It week sure recap, was but that's worth okay. it though. It was worth every Let's penny. Let's skip of the rest of the show and keep laughing, <laughs> that's, asshole. That's, that's exactly right. right. Uh, but no, uh, we've got a lot of sports and fun stuff to get to. But before we do that, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped dot. Come tell us what they do, Derek. What? Yeah, tell us what they do. What does Manscaped.com do? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what they do. <laughs> have you ever heard of a sham wow? <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah. Uh-huh. Same thing. No, it's not. It's, it's a sham wow for your balls. 
and butt. It's like a slap chop for your ball <laughs> sex, yeah. for your ball hair. Yeah. Yeah, you, what you do is you Same shave. Same concept. What, the, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to shave your pocket fisherman. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's what you're supposed to do. Is that do. what they call the dong? Yeah, that's what I call it. <laughs> yeah. pocket, pocket fisherman. Pocket fisherman. Okay. Mainly because I like to stick it in the lake and see if I can get a catfish sure. to nibble on the <laughs> or end of it. a rooster or whatever. <laughs> oh, I get spurred by a, by a rooster. Uh, but no, manscaped. Cock fighting. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Get get, see what I did there, guys? Yep. Cock fighting. Got it. <laughs> All right, uh, but no, manscaped.com. They make a lot of excellent products to help you clean your balls and trim your balls, keep them nice and, uh, you know, well-groomed, because that's important to a lot of females out there or, or males out there if you go that way. They're more likely to let you pork them. That's right. That's, that, uh, that ought to be their new... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's... Help you pork chicks. <laughs> <laughs> or... Or, or dudes, it's Pride Month. You know, it sure it is. It sure it is. Yeah, right? I, we should have had JP on here to to celebrate that. But yeah, we, he's moving into my basement. right Oh, now. he is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, manscaped.com, They have a whole bunch of other products. They have a cologne that <coughs> Jeremy and myself use called Refined. They also have things. Believe like... Believe it or not, it smells like oil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah. No, it smells really good. It's not like it oil. does. Um, but they also Maybe have... Maybe it's just the, Scotty that smells like oil. Yeah, I, that's me. I think it is. Yeah. That's his fucking wrist. Yep, that's right. <laughs> that's what that was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You oily wrist motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but they also have the weed whacker wrist to help... Wrist look like a teenager's <laughs> face. Fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to help just get... Full of zits. <laughs> and oil. God, blackheads all over his disgusting. fucking zits. Dang. Oh, that's gross. Uh, but they also have the Weed Whacker to help you clean your nose hair and ear hair. They have the shears to help trim your fingernails. They've got tons and tons of products that you can check out at manscaped.com. Do us a favor. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we are reading these commercials word for word. Shave your asshole in your balls. Mm-hmm. Shave your asshole in your balls. That's the moral of this story. Shave right. the asshole, shave the balls. Yeah. And then, the and then, stink pocket and the meat rocket. That's right. Right. And Shade then and use bone. and use the ball deodorant to make sure they smell nice in the summer. So that's the whole point. Okay, but we got some sports to go over. But believe it or not, um, we don't. Yeah, we do. We, uh, we got to. I mean, we have. Don't to. speak for me, you prick. Okay, you well. fucking bearded cocksucker. All right. <laughs> 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 but it is Pride Month. There's nothing That's wrong right. with that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to kick it off with uh, the very little news that we have for the NBA. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, Golden State and Boston. At least while we're recording this episode, they are tied at one to one. Uh, I think I still think uh, Golden State wins. How about you, Derek? Yeah, I fucking watched some of that game yesterday, and I blinked, and it went from, like, nine points to 30 points and on yeah. the lead. I was like, Jesus Christ, what happened? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I, I just I cannot see myself going against Steph Curry. When, Jordan Poole. When, well, mm-hmm. Steph, Steph is going to win the finals MVP. He, he wants to. it. He, he needs it. He has to. It's, like, the one thing he has yet to win. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's that. Uh, uh, we're also going to help announce, if you if you live under a rock at this point, but Darvin Ham has been announced as the Los Angeles Lakers' new head coach. God damn it. Sounds delicious. I hate LeBron, but I love Ham. Do you? you love sure. Him? Yeah, we love just talked a lot about Ham on here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Smoked kosher, mm-hmm. black yeah. forest, honey glazed. Oh, it's just fucking Ham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like how they're calling him the Los Angeles John. Lakers head coach instead of LeBron's bitch because that's pretty much what you're going to be while he yeah, is he's playing Yeah, he's LeBron's the team. assistant. I read yeah. the other day that Russell Westbrook is supposed to make $47 million next year. Why? Uh, that's his contract. That, uh, that and, uh, seems they s- excessive for what he does. Yeah, right. and they're talking about, well, they're going to trade him. <laughs> like LeBron's the GM of the Lakers. He's yeah. not the GM of the rest of the league. Right. Yeah, exactly. He can't make you take yeah. that fucking dead weight. <laughs> right. You're taking this $47 million, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, we'll take uh, Luca. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on, uh, we got some hockey going on. I know I don't have it on here, but... I, I can honestly say that in the last, I don't know, two weeks, I have watched and enjoyed more hockey games in the last couple of weeks than I have the rest of my entire life. It's fun to watch. If I all have, hockey games were like that one that we watched last week when we recorded. Holy, holy fuck. It was, 
what was it, eight to five or some shit? That's what the final was, yeah. They scored like four goals in two minutes or some shit. It, it was, was ridiculous. fucking ridiculous. But no, I legitimately am, and I am, I'm rooting just, just for JP, I'm rooting for the Colorado Avalanche. They're juicing the pucks, I think. That's yeah, I bet they are. I, they are. Yeah. They sure shit are. Well, they're learning the secret of that knuckle puck. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Don't you dare take something away from the Mighty Ducks. It, it works. It's been a secret, though. Uh, but no, I'm pulling I'll for do whatever the fuck I yeah, want. He has a very un- unhealthy obsession with that. You, it is. You wear their clothes. No, it's not. It's not unhealthy. <laughs> no, yeah, it is. It's, no. it's a little unhealthy. It, it is Pride Month, though, and Joshua Jackson <laughs> does yeah. it for you. Uh, no, uh, but but no, seriously, I'm rooting for uh, – I hope that the, fi- the Stanley Cup final is – you know the Colorado Avalanche, which as of right now they're three to nothing up uh, on Edmonton. So, uh, and then the other series, I think it's I think it's two to one uh, the New York Rangers against the Tampa Bay Lightning. But I hope the Tampa Bay Lightning come back and win because that would be the best Stanley Cup uh, final that you could hope for. So sorry, New York. If you say so, I'm just saying. Speaking of hockey, I yeah. honestly thought that the game we watched the other night was the Stanley Cup Finals. No, uh, that's, that's how not. little I know about hockey. That's okay. Speaking of hockey, I watched fun. the first half of Shorzy. How, whoa, 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 whoa! What would you think? I like it. You like it? I, I haven't like brought it. myself to to watch it yet. I do like it. How could you not like it? Yeah, I've, I've still got three episodes to go, but I watched the first three, and there it was pretty so fucking good. So it's six episodes total. Yeah. Okay, they need to do more. Come Have you guys on, watched that show on Hulu, Candy? No. no, no, I eat candy. Yeah, that's okay. exactly right. And I give it to kids. Oh. My okay, they made this show on on Hulu uh, called Candy about this woman named Candy who murdered a woman uh, in Texas years ago, and she basically got away with it, saying she was crazy. Oh. The the woman who was killed. It's I have a weird connection to this. My ex wife's stepdad was <clears throat> brother of the woman who was killed. Holy shit! In, in that. And uh, so I know that story all too well, so I'm not going to watch it. Uh, <laughs> okay. But if anybody else watches it, let me know what you think. What's yeah. it on? Hulu. 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 Yeah, he said that. Pay yeah. attention. Jesus Christ. Well, Scotty, I, you, why don't you, you had me at You were murder. talking. Uh, I'm talking. You listen, Derek. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, but moving on. He is a cocksucker. Isn't he? Yeah, I am. Uh, Bearded. <laughs> Next thing, so uh, Sue Bird from the organization Together. Together is spelled T O G E T H X R. Is that Larry's know? kid or something? Yeah, is it? Yeah. Huh? All right. Um, followed through on her threat to The Rock and the XFL, citing trademark <coughs> infringement on the XFL new logo. If you haven't seen this shit, look it up. It's fucking hilarious, and I hope this is a joke. However, directly from the Together brand, and I quote, it says, Our co-founders have worked tremendously hard to build a platform that elevates and centers women across sports and culture. We are a brand where representation, diversity, inclusivity, or inclusivity and equality are the norm. And while we commend the XFL on their move towards being more inclusive, we don't feel that needs to come at the expense of the Together brand. <laughs> we're, we're still going to take them sons of bitches down. <laughs> <laughs> we continue to look for the XFL for a reasonable <clears throat> resolution. If you haven't seen these two logos, they're an X. They're different fonts. One's one's black and white. One's black. The only thing they have similar to them is a little space right down the middle. And they're doing a great job if they want publicity and we're giving them that. But you're fucking retarded. No, it's nothing like the other one. And this is just bullshit to get attention. So What, what I love about this is that it's got an organization that nobody knows a fucking thing about. Exactly. Suing another organization that nobody gives a shit about. Yeah. It's like, I don't even know what, how to even put it. It's stupid. Th- this, is, this is like the courtroom equivalent of bum fights. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would put this as. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's fucking, it's fucking stupid. Uh, but moving on from that, uh, we're going to get to, unfortunately, Marion Barber ends up passing away at 38. Uh, at least as of right now, of us doing the show, it has not been released he, of how he passed away. He's still dead. He still, he, still, he still died. He is still deceased. But uh, the Bears I, are looking at signing him. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but um, they don't really know how he passed away at 38. I don't Isn't know he the one was. that got arrested here in town east for That's stealing? Joseph Cologne? Randall. Oh, no, that was Randall. That that was, was, okay. And he was still underwear. Yeah. Was it? I Wh- thought it was cologne. No, women's underwear. Okay. Yeah. The fucking savage was ABC News when they tweeted it. Tweeted what? Marion Barber? About Marion Barber dying. Oh, yeah? What'd they say? I'm trying to pull it up. It says, just in, 
Marion Barber III, the former Dallas Cowboys running back who scored plenty of touchdowns without recording a 1,000-yard season, has died. Oh, fuck! The team said Wednesday he was 30. Plenty. <laughs> they couldn't even get exact numbers, just plenty. They just knew he didn't run for 1,000 yards. Yeah. What a yeah. dude. Yeah, we, a want to, we want to throw that move. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I guess uh, also sad, possibly sadder, Ryan Fitzpatrick has officially retired from the game of football. Great. That's, that's sad. I love Ryan Fitzpatrick. Talk about bearded cocksuckers. <laughs> you know, he was in the league for 17 years. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. He was he was like basically the, I don't know, the Bubby Brister of, of our generation. Just Maybe. when somebody needed somebody who was just good enough to not go out there and just completely shit the bed, who, <laughs> who had just enough talent to be a starter but was nobody's long-term solution like to anything. Jeff yeah. George kind of. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. So he he uh, he will be missed. He loved the fact that every single announcer, every single game that he started, would always talk about how he went to Harvard University. I mean, that, like, he's what else brilliant. does he have to brag about? That he's a it, quarterback. He, man. he managed to fucking fool the league into keeping him on for seventeen fucking years. Oh, quit being mean. He's he was excellent. And I guess except Derek, when he wasn't, then he was awful. Yeah, Derek said there's a couple of other uh, players that retired at the exact same time. I think Frank Gore retired officially. Yeah, he's, he's gonna he's gonna sign a one day contract with San Francisco so he can retire as a San Francisco. You know, he's I like hope they put him in third all time in yards. I think that's no joke. He's been yeah. in the league it, forever. Yeah. yeah, he's almost twenty years, hadn't it been? It's or longer. I think he's, I think he was ran for sixteen thousand yards. He's wow. immortal. That's what the yeah. I mean. That's what they call him is the immortal because he's well. He was fucked. built like a brick shit house. He sure was. So um, it would have been hard uh, to fucking hurt him. Like yeah. Alex Mack or whatever, the other guy for the uh, Falcons. Yeah, he don't, retired too. Don't, don't know. Don't care. Uh, next then thing. Why did you fucking ask? Yeah, I you said a couple, and then you're like, I don't care about the third one. Yeah, I don't care about the third one. Uh, but I anyways. I only care about the third stringer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so Robert Walton ends up buying the Denver Broncos for $4.5 billion. That's right. The same Waltons that made Walmart. I think it's the Waltons from the TV show. Oh, is it? Good night, John Boy. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think but, that is. That's that's John Boy's kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did have a, a nice lumber business. Yeah. Um, so, okay. You're talking this is, is Robert Walton, Sam Walton's kid? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. He, he bought the uh, Denver Broncos, $4.5 billion. Well, Robert Glass bought the Royals. He was the previous owner of the Royals, and he had been Walmart CEO for many years. Oh, uh -huh. that was David Glass. Or David Glass. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if that's a good investment. It probably is. It'll probably be a long-term good investment. You think maybe No, wait. Robert Glass was the owner. David Glass was his son who kind of ran shit. Okay. Um, anyways, what now? Do you think it's a good investment? I would assume I, it is. I, I got to think that almost any NFL franchise is going to go for this and it's probably going to make you money. I agree. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, but there's that. And, uh, moving on now to the fun stuff. Uh, Deshaun Watson is now facing a 24th lawsuit. The plaintiff says the quarterback and I quote finished on her chest and face. Good for him. Way to wow. go, buddy. Well, Plan for Houston. He generally finished on his own <laughs> chest and face. <laughs> getting fucking drilled in the backfield. Is At least he didn't get hit by a truck. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay. I would have left when he started, <laughs> I guess. I wouldn't have waited around for him to finish no if kidding. I really didn't want this to happen. Exactly. You can leave. Was he not willing to pay the extra 50 bucks for her to take it on her <laughs> face and chest? Right. How was she in a position as a masseuse? That's what I was wondering. To get that. He must have a hell of a shot. <laughs> right. I wonder if they had that, like the whole for your face and then like a milking table. Maybe you get massaged <laughs> on a milking table. Steph Curry's got a jump shot that's got nothing on this. <laughs> uh, but no, I guess uh, Deshaun Watson's uh, attorney says a happy ending isn't necessarily illegal. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's paying for sex. If you pay sex, for it, yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. But if you really want to dive deep down into it, I mean, all men really do is pay for sex. We all sure, do. That's true. You know, you we pay take a hooker them out to, to go away. Yeah. We take them out to dinner. Yeah, exactly. Uh, pay a hooker to go away. We take them out to, we'll take you out to dinner, take you on trips, take you on vacation. But the yeah. whole goal in the end is to fucking bang you. That's yeah. the that's the ultimate goal. I heard I heard something that also is true. It was from uh, Akash. He's a stand-up comedian. Um, Who? Uh, his his first name is Akash. I can't remember his last name, but he's on a uh, YouTube channel called uh, Flagrant. <clears throat> but he said something that rings extremely true. That uh, he was talking about his wife, and he said, 
gifts are just renting silence. I'd say that's pretty accurate. What do you think? Do you think that's true? Uh, in some cases, yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes if you're uh, in a decent relationship, a gift is just a gift. Um, <laughs> Apparently he never gave his wife an exercise yeah. bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that does not rent silence. <laughs> or a vacuum. Because yeah, uh, <laughs> between her and the fucking vacuum, there's a lot of noise getting made. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. She's bitching about the wind yeah. being created <laughs> by that fucking vacuum. It's... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, I was sitting there uh, the other day. I was scrolling through Facebook, and the Bears thing had popped up, and they were talking about how they'd saved $7 million oh, yeah. by uh, cutting Tariq Cohen and somebody else. And I'm like, boy, that sure makes me excited. I love knowing how much money they saved <laughs> by <laughs> putting a dog shit product on the field. That's <laughs> God damn. Now tell me how much you saved at Costco yeah. by buying that big bulk ch- thing of water instead of the smaller one. <laughs> Come on, clip those coupons. <laughs> yeah. Like, fucking are you kidding me? Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, moving on, uh, Aaron Donald isn't retiring. He uh, actually is going to be, uh, I think he's going to have the largest contract by a non-quarterback player. Uh, it guarantees him $65 million over the next two years and $95 million through 2024. Well, that'll be the largest Ooh. contract until next year. Exactly, yeah. until somebody else decides to. Yeah. I don't know. what he, I bet Tyreek Hill got more than that. Tyreek Hill got a fucking huge deal. I, I don't think. It's, it's said that it is the largest non-QB contract um, huh. ever. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on to baseball. Joe Girardi is fired from the Phillies. Anybody surprised? I kind of was. I really? didn't know he was managing the Phillies. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of surprised. Yeah, <laughs> that's what uh, I wanted for the Cubs when Ross got the job. I know I you did. Girardi. I know you did. Well, apparently, uh, good, good. They didn't get him right. No, and nobody can win with that fucking roster in Chicago. True. I don't understand why fans are blaming David Ross. Like I can, I, I'm a huge Cubs fan. I can name like four people on the fucking team. That's right. Well, and Girardi, he was manager of the Yankees, wasn't he? Yes. yes. And he couldn't win a World Series. He couldn't with get that into the world. Yeah, he couldn't. Foster, he so couldn't how get good him of anywhere. a manager could he possibly be? Exactly. When you got guys like Jim Carlos Stanton and then the Judge, and you still can't win a World Series, get people, the fuck out. People of that. putting him in that category of great managers is kind of like they do with Andy Reid. Uh, I don't know if he managed Stanton or Judge. I'm pretty sure he did. I well, think he should have, and that would have made him better. I'm almost positive that he did. All right, um, let's move on. I'm moving on from that, but. Especially, I'm busting out the Cardinals jersey today. The uh, St. Louis Cardinals end up winning the series against the Cubs. They win the rubber match. And uh, fucking amazing baseball all weekend long. It was awesome to see. And I do have, I think, uh, something that I need to say. Mm-hmm. I, I think my, my opinion on Albert Pujols is, is slightly starting to change a little bit. I do not like that I know for a fact he took steroids and stuck up for Barry Bonds. But this season finale that he's doing with Yadi and Molina and Adam Wainwright, now pool holes. It's actually kind of fun to watch. Stupid. I, I really do. It's it's really nice to watch. It's really cool. I didn't realize he, <laughs> he has played. If he was a dick before he did your team good, he should be a dick <laughs> after, Scotty. <laughs> I'm just saying. A dick is a dick. Despite he, what they're doing on the field. He was a dick. I could be in a goddamn Lakers fan when LeBron James got to my team. That's yeah. true. But I, but I don't think Albert <clears throat> Pujols is a dick. I found out the whole reason why he didn't divorce his wife until after she had surgery was so the surgery would be paid for by his insurance. That's the whole thing. So he's not an absolute hor- horrible human being. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, – it's actually kind of cool to, to see, especially he's not doing steroids now. We know he's not. He's slower than molasses going around the bases. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. So I, I tolerate him now, and I, I cheer for him when he does well. Uh, but Aaron, yeah. Girardi stopped managing the Yankees in 2017, uh, which was Judge's rookie year. Yep. And he won a World Series with him in 09. Okay. So 08 to 17 is what he managed. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Uh, but that's all the new, uh, sports news I got, unless you guys have anything that you want to talk about at all. Nope. nope. I want to nope. get through this. Let's as get fast this as shit. Possible. Hell yeah. Let's get to the fun stuff. All right. Now we get to move on. I'd like to, to get through that as fast as possible, too. Okay, fine. We'll try. Uh, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, same thing applies to all of these segments, guys. If you have any suggestions uh, to uh, this real shit or horse shit, uh, overrated, underrated questions for Guntas and a bad advice, you can send them to our Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines and also in our Q and a section on our TikTok, which is also la- at laughing on the sidelines. Uh, we're going to start with real shit or horse shit. I love it. When someone pretends to walk downstairs when they are behind a couch. 
Oh, 100% real shit. Yes. That, you can't do that in skip leg day. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried to do mm-hmm. that? Yes. Holy fucking shit. Uh-huh. That's a workout. I can't I even do the elevator. I know. Hmm. Yeah. No way. That is awesome. That is yes. real shit. It Whenever is. they do the escalator, I'm always fucking oh, amazed my by God, that yes. shit. God, this is real shit. I've never... It's the only time in my life I'm ever jealous of somebody's knees. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit, I am perfectly fine with my spouse going number two while I am still in the bathroom. Horse shit. You don't shit in front of another person. <laughs> you just don't. Unless it's a pool. That's, <laughs> oh, a public really? pool, you can. I think if you're trying to get out of something, you can. Or if you're uh, walking through an aircraft uh, you know, facility, I think I'd you should be never able to. forget that fucking concert I went to. I believe it was at the Granada in Lawrence. <laughs> Granada? Yeah. Grenada? The Granada Theater. Oh, I've never been. And it was in Lawrence, and we were the only ones, like I think, that were even fucking 21 in there. And uh, it was a Tyler, the Creator concert, and it was probably fucking 10 years ago when he had first kind of gotten big. And I went in to use the bathroom up there, and there's urinals along the wall, and then one shitter with no stall walls <laughs> and a guy just shitting, waving at people. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Let alone, I, I, nobody. You don't shit. Nuh-uh. <laughs> yeah, this is totally horse shit. Um, for many reasons, especially, I don't, I don't want to know when when my wife shits. I, I want to be out of the house because it'll fucking make everybody in the house want to fucking evacuate. So, yeah, this is horse shit for me. She's going to love you for that one. Uh, don't tell her. Jeremy? <laughs> yeah, this is complete horse shit. I... Uh, I I would rather not know that my wife pooped. <laughs> exactly. And while I make it very apparently clear that I poop, because um, everybody can tell when it happens, door shut or open, um, <laughs> fan on. I I you're not allowed to talk to me in there. <laughs> you're, you're not allowed to even know that I'm in there. <laughs> don't text me. <laughs> don't I. I put in headphones sometimes just so I can't hear anybody out there. No, this is a, that is a, a loner's activity. I'm a lone wolf when it comes to shit. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, my boss told me one thing the other or a few weeks ago, and I've never gotten it out of my head since, and it's kind of hilarious. But he's like, oh, man, he comes out of the bathroom, and I said, why, what's, go, what's going on? He goes, whoever was in there last fucking should have flushed a second time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He's like, there's fucking fish food in there. And I'm like, oh, my God, that is a fucking perfect analogy. Oh so now, from now on, anytime I see, like, little leftover remnants of shit, I call it fish food. Oh, my God, that is so Now I'm like, well, I got to go so feed the gross. fish. I'll be back. Oh, that is so disgusting. It's fucking brilliant. Uh, it is brilliant, but, yeah, it's disgusting. All right, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I will ask for a to-go box so I can have leftovers, but I will put it in the fridge until it is definitely bad and throw it away. Horse shit. What? Do I look like the kind of guy that has leftovers? <laughs> okay. Uh-uh. You've never left a place with for a, and asked for a box? No. I clean my fucking plate. Oh, my and God. And then I might eat my wife's leftovers out of the fridge <laughs> the next day. Is that slang for something? Fish I ate food. my wife's leftovers. <laughs> yeah, fish, food. fish food. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fish it right out of the toilet. Yeah, bobbing for fish food mm. in the toilet. Uh, no, th- for me, this is 100% real shit, and I can prove it. I even say, I even ask. You don't have to prove it. We're not We're not going to test you on this. Okay, fine. He's going to go up and get fucking 18 boxes of Mr. Miyagi out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> We've been three times in the last five days. No. We just keep getting to-go boxes, and eventually we're going to eat them. Yeah, yeah. But, but no, seriously. I, <laughs> we just I like am, throwing this stuff away. <laughs> I am so fucking guilty of this. I even asked for a box so it doesn't like look bad. I don't want the like the server to think that I'm I don't like the food and immediately when I get home like pull into my driveway, I will throw it away if it's something I didn't like. I just asked for a box just so I could take it home and make them feel better and yeah, then I'll throw it. Yeah, cuz the server made it. No, it's just I'm, I don't I don't complain about that kind of shit. But but no, seriously, I uh, I will definitely do this. This is real shit for me, Jeremy. Totally this is horse like shit. It. Much like Derek, I rarely have leftovers. Jesus, you but fat fucks. If I do have leftovers, the only time I will ever ask for a box is when it's like there's no way I'm letting that go to waste. It's it generally doesn't make it through the night. I can it. Oh, the the leftovers probably didn't even have time to get cold in the fridge. <laughs> okay. uh, 
yeah, I we oh. live a long ways from anything, so by the time we get home, I'm hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I try to stay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I read this wrong. Sorry. Real shit or horse shit? I try to stay tired if I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom so I can fall back asleep. Horse shit. I just let it go right there in the bed. <laughs> Your poor wife. No. No, she didn't care. No, she she, she relishes they in it. Stopped sleeping in yeah. the same bed a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got the rubber sheets? No, I just wear a rubber. Oh, that that works. <laughs> I too. sleep with a condom on. You gotta. You never can be too careful, Scott. Boy, <laughs> wow, that doesn't seem like you're releasing much. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I realize they call it a reservoir tip, but I mean, <laughs> it's not like a lake reservoir. I mean, it's yeah, just enough to finish on a masseuse's chest and face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, this is horseshit because if you drink as much as uh, I do, you don't wake up in the middle of the night. You pretty much sleep all the way through it with no problems. So this is horseshit. Jerry? Oh, I get up at least twice in the night to pee. <laughs> uh, when you get to my age, that just kind of fucking happens. Uh-huh. Um, but, I mean, I don't know that it's really a try thing. I mean, it's it's not like I get up and, like, start doing push-ups and shit, <laughs> trying to wake myself up, slapping myself in the face, go get some coffee. I, I don't. I pee, I don't wash my hands, and I get back into bed. <laughs> Sometimes I'll flush. <laughs> and then he goes up to his wife, and he's yeah. like, oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. The dog's in the way. Uh, Our four-headed dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He fell off the porch last Fucking night. Man. It was glad he wasn't hurt, so it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably because he didn't have any legs. That's right. <laughs> yeah. He rolled off. Uh, you sure you don't have any fucking legs. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Last one. Real shit or horse shit. When someone I don't want to talk to texts me, I ignore it and tell them I never got the message if they ever ask. I'll never fucking tell you the answer to that, Scotty. Jeremy? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what the fuck? No fucking clue. Uh, come on. Be honest. The best thing that uh, phones ever did was tell you who's texting. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the fact that iPhone has that thing that lets people know if you've read it or not. Yep. That's why you got to get the watch. Uh-huh. Fuck that. Or I could just not open it because I saw it was from Scotty. Right. Or or whoever. Uh-huh. Whatever, <laughs> whatever bearded cocksucker is texting me. <laughs> could be JP. Could be. Could be. Uh, this is fucking real shit. And those of you who say this is horse shit, you are fucking lying through your mm-hmm. teeth. This is 100% real shit. And it's okay. We all do it. So... Yeah, but I 100% agree with Jeremy. Fuck you, Apple, for making that a thing. Why? Apparently, you can turn it off. I just don't know how. I know you um, can, but why even make it to where it shows you if they've seen look, it? Look, who are you fucking fighting with, man? I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Smelling what you're stepping in. Why even make it? That's my question. All right. But that was uh, Real Shit or Horse Shit for this week's episode. Now we get to move on to a growing in popularity part of every single episode. Guys, Is it? I feel like it's tapering off. No, yeah. no, it's still good. Like a tapeworm. Yeah, uh, no, it's still good. Uh, but every single week uh, we get, uh, we, well, we look over a couple of um, submissions by some of you listeners about particular situations. Thousands of submissions. Thousands. There's quite a fucking few of them. You got to yeah. weed through them all. Yeah, you don't find. When do you find the time, Jeremy? When he's taking between a shit. episodes of Stranger Things and buying new pocket knives. No, that's, that's when you're taking a shit, probably. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Uh-huh. I put it in my headphones. <laughs> that's right. And I read. <laughs> you're right. Uh, but anyways, uh, these are particular situations that uh, listeners are sending in to us um, that they want Jeremy's absolute worst advice that he could possibly give you for whatever situation that you have. Uh, we call this bad advice with Jeremy. Um, we got another submission this uh, this week. This is from Andrew Souter. He writes, hey, Jeremy, I graduated college a couple of weeks ago to be a middle school teacher. I just took a job as a local school uh, yeah, at, at a local school. Apologize. I just took a job at a local school and am getting ready for my first year teaching. Do you have any advice on what I can do to keep my sanity when dealing with these kids? I have so many things. What's this asshole's name? His name is Andrew. And he is an asshole. Yeah. Uh, Andrew. Um, basically, 
the first thing you got to do is you have to establish that you are in charge. So right off the bat, first announcement that you make to the very first class is that from here on out, all field trips are canceled. <laughs> Just to piss them off, get them on your side. Right. All right. Um, then uh, you want to give an entire lecture in a foreign language. Uh, if, you know, this can uh, be especially fun if you're an English teacher. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know a foreign language, learn one. I would suggest a, a dead language like Latin or Sanskrit. <laughs> That way nobody can really call you if you're wrong on the shit. Um, teach the wrong subject. Like if it's history class, teach science. And don't just teach science, teach the wrong science. <laughs> Say that all science is chalked up to magic and gremlins and shit. <laughs> uh, start every class by having them recite the shepherd's prayer. This, of course, is the prayer that Alan Shepard said right before the first American manned space flight, which is, Dear Lord... Please don't let me fuck up. Um, reinstate dump, dunce caps. Uh, those were always fun. Uh, title one of your lessons, Carnies and Why They Are the Key to World Peace. Uh, at least once every two weeks, make the students watch the movie Rhinestone with Sylvester Stallone and Dolly Parton. Tell them that their knowledge of the movie will determine 75% of their grade. <laughs> Uh, call students by the wrong name and lower their grade if they correct you. Uh, confiscate their phones and delete all their apps and contacts. Um, by the way, I want to put out a warning. This is bad advice. <laughs> but reinstate corporal punishment with making the kids uh, spank you. Um, uh, take tests and quizzes at the same time as the students and then gloat when you do it better and faster than they do. Uh, try to work in uh, Dungeons and Dragons references to every lesson. Um, and last but not least, uh, every so often, take time to excuse yourself from the classroom and retreat to the spot under your desk where your legs usually go. <laughs> then go into a profanity-filled rage and emerge with different clothes on. <laughs> I think if you were able to you know, put in uh, half of these, I think that would really help you to keep your sanity, and that's my advice. <laughs> that was that was pretty damn good advice, Jeremy. I like to think so. Yeah, I really do. Gremlins and magic and shit. <laughs> that's right. Hey, nobody knows how science works. <laughs> that's exactly right. As far as I know, they're just making it all up. Teach them flat Earth, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> and flat Moon. You got to teach those yeah, flat Moon, round Earth, flat Moon, <laughs> round Earth, flat Moon. Those fuckers. All right, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, guys, you have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or our Q&A section on TikTok. First one, overrated or underrated, bug zappers. Derek? I'm going to go with uh, underrated. Okay. There's nothing more soothing than that sound uh, to me, but uh, I think something that's even better is uh, the bug assault. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. That is the king of bug killers. I yeah. Think. That's the bug assault. Or uh, still, I'm kind of a big fan of pouring salt on a slug and watch him slowly die. Maybe that's, it's just because I'm sadistic, yeah, but I, I do kind of enjoy that, that good that is fucked up. dry down slug. That, but uh, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, uh, underrated. I 100% agree with uh, But Derek. you're cool. You let snails live. Just the slugs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. What I'll sometimes I'll do is I'll rip the shell off. Yeah. Uh, a and snail then, is just one good pull away from being a slug. Yeah, all absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> the bug assault, is that what it's called? Yes. I 100% agree with Derek on that. I that, want one of those. I still are. have yet to buy one. I really want one. My, my dad, dad has one. My dad has. I think everybody's dad has Yeah, one. my dad has four of them, and he keeps them in the camper. That's what he uses it for. Uh, but no, seriously. Um, Boy, well, imagine assault tripping, is food. Imagine yeah. tripping <laughs> mushrooms with one of those things. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um <laughs> Right. Uh, but no, bug zappers are way underrated, and it doesn't matter if it's one that's hanging right outside of your door. Uh, that's fucking cool as shit, but they actually came out with a bug zapper that's like a fucking tennis racket. Yeah, my that's stepmom. I've got that. cool. I have that. Yep, that's fucking cool, mm -hmm. too. I just watch the buds, bugs explode and make the sound like Venus Williams or some shit. So, yeah, that's underrated for me. Jeremy? Yeah, uh, they're, they're wonderful things. I, I despise bugs, especially flying bugs. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> uh, every goddamn one of them can fry as far as I'm concerned. I would, 
if I could afford it, I'd get a dozen bug zappers and just put them all around my house, mostly just to piss my neighbors off with that blue glow. <laughs> but uh, and just to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Scotty, you should hang one from your belt buckle and kill all the crabs. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I don't have hair there, he's here. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have hair. They're, they can't be there. What so. was that? The, the best way to get rid of crabs was to shave a path down the middle of your pubes, light one side on fire, and when they run across, <laughs> just stab them with an ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, my God. Where the fuck did you hear that? My dad told me that when I was probably 15 years old. Did it work? No. <laughs> no, it didn't. It's like you were fucking aerating your crotch. Well, he asked what I asked him what he was doing when I walked in the room. <sighs> oh, my goodness. I bet you that didn't smell right after you did that. Didn't really happen. I know, I know, Jesus. Jeremy. I know. God damn it! <laughs> All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Rotten Tomatoes movie rate ratings. Rotten Tomatoes movie ratings. I'm gonna go underrated on this one too. What in the fuck? I think they're usually pretty dead on for mm-hmm. me. Bullshit. Oh, you see? I think that just proves it, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. yeah they know exactly what they're talking Somebody about. Somebody who spent an entire weekend watching the extended version of Lord of the Rings. I think <laughs> I think I win this one. No. Hey, if you look up Scotty <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes, he's got a 37%. <laughs> really? That high? And it's on the fence, really. Okay. I think the critics like you better than the fans. Mm-hmm. This is fucking overrated as hell. They still have D3, the Mighty Ducks, with like a 20-something rating. Fuck them. Bullshit. Overrated. Jeremy? Are, are you talking about the one where they go to high school at Eaton Hall? Yeah. And play the JV team, but they get to rename it if they win the, the JV and, and yeah, varsity they, game they, one? Yeah, that uh, Charlie had that one girlfriend who was offended by the fucking name and, and of, the, of the, what was it, the Warriors? Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Anyways, what do you think? I don't. Uh, not not about that. No, I I don't go to Rotten Tomatoes all that often, other than to just basically confirm my own biases against movies <laughs> yeah. uh, and and shows. Uh, I guess um, the Obi Wan Kenobi got fucking bombed on <laughs> really? on Rotten Tomatoes this week. Yeah, it went down to thirty some percent from Whoa. what I understand. Yeah, Yikes. people did not like this last episode. They haven't liked. Most people haven't liked any episodes. Oh, man, I, I, I haven't seen the third one yet, but I will say this. After our episode last week, whenever you made fun of them chasing after little Princess Leia, uh-huh. after you said how bullshit it was because the, they should have easily caught that bitch, mm-hmm. tons of fucking memes came out of the, of just that. Like, they're breaking down how they should have just fucking ran yeah. and caught this I'm a trendsetter, kid. Scotty. I, I inspire a lot of things. You, this is true. A lot, most churches were started because of me. I believe it. Uh, the Spaghetti Monster people yeah was that you no what <laughs> okay the flying Re- remember monster. when i wanted to get through this <laughs> sorry as quick as possible yeah i, I do remember and you're fucking come out of here with pasta beast <laughs> yeah pasta beast <laughs> this is a real thing have you not heard of this no and we don't need to oh look up you tell us all about it next week flying spaghetti monster look it up after we've quit <laughs> okay <laughs> next one overrated or underrated trying to light a fart on fire well that's underrated as well mm-hmm. yeah that's how you fish the tapeworm out then you stab him with an ice pick <laughs> Grab hold of it with some needle nose and just give her a good yank. <laughs> yank on it like it's a snail. <laughs> Pour some salt on it. And then swallow it again. Oh, my God. Oh, i I got to be honest. Uh, I, I've never done this before in my entire life. Uh, but when you watch somebody else do it, pretty funny so this is underrated for me when somebody can pull it off now when they can't pull it off it's lame as fuck yeah i've only ever been able to do it once and here's (laughs) he's so passionate about this here here's the problem with with being the one who does it the flame will travel back up (laughs) the methane stream i don't know that i've ever had my ass on fire (laughs) quite like the time when i tried to do this uh, that is a very real thing, by the way. That's, I'm not exaggerating. Um, 
Yeah, I've eaten all the spicy food in the world, and it didn't hurt like what this did. <laughs> so, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this is a true story, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like my asshole took a shot of Everclear. <laughs> Wow. Oh, how about you, uh, Derek? I already answered. Oh, you did? Okay. Sorry, I was laughing too hard at Jeremy's answer. Not yours. Yeah, that shouldn't <laughs> laugh at mine. It's funny as Jeremy's. Especially, it's it's the best when somebody can do it on their own. When they can sit there, put their legs back, <laughs> and reach down and do it. it. It's still fine when somebody like can get on their hands and knees and somebody's behind them with a the lighter. Yeah. But when they can do it by themselves, then it's just fucking hilarious yep. to see them twist in that position. I can't even Love tie it. my own shoes anymore. <laughs> yeah. Let alone fucking try and get my knees back there mm-hmm. so I can do it. Mm-hmm. God. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Watching a person slip next to a caution wet floor sign. Oh, that's underrated as all get. Yes. That is fantastic. <laughs> There's nothing funnier than watching a stupid person disobey yeah. blatant <laughs> orders <laughs> and get consequences. That's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like I could watch a kid touch a hot stove all day. <laughs> when mom says don't touch that and they still do, uh-huh. it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is uh, this is way fucking underrated, and uh, seen it happen at work, and uh, I laughed my ass off. This is yeah. way underrated, Jeremy. Uh, it's underrated with or without the caution sign. The <laughs> caution sign just adds a little more to it, especially if they crash into the wet floor sign. But when they put that out there, especially when it's very visible, it's almost like the person went, "Ah, bullshit. Let me see." <laughs> Because cause they, they almost approach it with too much caution, and that makes them slip even worse. And that's that's so funny to me, because they're almost prepared for it, and right. there's just nothing you can do. It's yeah. like when the server brings out your plate, and they're like, careful, that plate's hot. And you're like, all right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. yeah, no shit. Why does that plate have to be so goddamn hot, by the way? Um, but you know what I hate is when the person starts to slip, and then they are able to stop themselves from it. Not only am I disappointed, but they act like they just pulled off a fucking gymnastics routine. <laughs> they stick like they're the some landing. kind of superhero or something. They can take on anything now. Uh, they Fuck yeah. those people. They Fuck s- you, and you're not hurting yourself. <laughs> yeah, you bearded cocksuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of caution signs, uh-huh. what happened with the poop story? I, I'm pretty sure I, I talked about it a little bit. I, I think the case has gone cold. Oh, no. I, I just don't think we're ever going to find out who it was. I mean, who would fess up to it? And that's the only way anybody's ever going to figure it out at this point. <sighs> I don't think they've did, done all the forensic evidence that they could. Yeah. But, that's uh, a damn shame. It but, sure is. But you only I want to shake that guy's hand I after know, he watches it. But you, you only got to see the back of the guy, right? Right. Right? So whenever you're at work, if you recognize the back of that guy... <clears throat> Just kind of go uh, up to him I, and subtly? He doesn't. I can tell you this. He for sure does not work in my shop. Oh. So he damn. was from another building there to do something. I don't know what. Well, well we know what it was. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> shitting in my building. I'm going to go over to fucking Apparently assembly. shitter was full. Yeah. And so he had to come <laughs> release in ours. All right. He wanted to go home. He wanted to go home from work. I guess. Next one. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Mooning a perfect stranger underrated and i'm gonna tell you why okay uh my father <laughs> god rest Who his soul heaven. he is <laughs> god rest his soul my, my father's probably the funniest son of a bitch i've ever met in my life and uh my stepmother had told me this story when they were living in new york city and my stepmom was at work my dad had been laid off he was an electrician mm-hmm. so he was a union electrician he'd work you get laid off for a couple of weeks you just kind of cl- sit there get unemployment for a couple weeks go find a different wait for another job Mm -hmm. so he was laid off my stepmom was at work he was at the bar all day and he calls my stepmom to come get him from the bar after she gets off of work at five o'clock 5 30 so they're in new york city driving and uh my dad as a union electrician they're very pro buy american everything Mm -hmm. if it's made in america god damn it you buy it if you don't buy anything made anywhere else so they're driving down the highway in New York City, and my dad is mooning foreign cars. <laughs> and, and, 
And my stepmother is trying to drive, not laugh, and keep him down. <laughs> falling out. Yeah. And, uh, and she's like, and then at one point, you, she said she's driving, and you hear him go, oh, good, a cop. <laughs> she's like, sit down. Like, sit down. <laughs> Like, New York City cops don't have other shit to deal with. <laughs> so I guess they pull up. Finally, they get to the house. They pull up, and they park in front of the house. And uh, he's walking to the door, and she's laughing so hard because his pants aren't all. They're, they're like, around his knees. And he's penguin walking up to the fucking front door. Nice. So I'm going to go underrated on that. Yeah. 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 Uh, you should with a story like That's that. Fantastic. First of all, how old was your dad when he did this? 50-something. Oh my god! I bet he was. It was. It would have been probably. In, yeah, it'd have been twenty years ago. So he would have probably been. He died at sixty four. So he's probably forty. I bet he was forty five. Jesus Christ, that's funny. Your dad is. It was one of the funniest fucking people on the face of the planet. Oh fuck yeah, he was. And uh, but I can't imagine him being able to physically do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's great. Oh good, a cop. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great. Uh, I I also have a, a really brief story, but yes, this is way 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 underrated. One time, my brother, who's also been on the show, we were dragging Maine in in uh, Garden City, Kansas. We mean we were just driving around, and uh, yeah, we know what it means. We're old. The kids, <coughs> the kids that are listening to the show don't. Okay, no, they don't. So, that does not mean he was putting on women's clothes. <laughs> it's, it's However, right. he may have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, it was too Wong Fu. It was a sure, different time. Yeah, complaining about the fucking wind. Right. It's <laughs> I swear to God, that sounds just like my Jimmy Carter impression. <laughs> but no, uh, my brother Fred and I were driving around uh, downtown Garden City, Kansas, and this limousine pulls up next to us, and sure as shit, this older gal fucking like lifts up her shirt and then like flashes me and Fred with her very disgusting saggy boobs. And Fred was like, all right, I don't, I can't unsee that ever again. So sure as shit, I stand up in the passenger seat. They go, we go by them and I give them a full moon and they uh, did not appreciate it as much. So uh, yeah, should have underrated, should have farted and fogged the glass up. <laughs> no, I, my ass was out the window. Oh. Yeah. So Th that's that. This was a big thing for me and some of my friends when we were in high school. Uh, especially if we'd go to other towns where nobody knew us. Mm -hmm. uh, people are almost expecting the finger. Nobody <laughs> is expecting bare ass yep. out the window. And nothing brings confusion to people. Like th They're almost looking at you like, did that just happen? <laughs> what? what the fuck? Yep. Was that? Did that guy just have an ugly face? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> It leaves them confused, and by the time they realize what's happened and they're pissed about it, you're gone. <coughs> now, right. I will tell you this. My story, uh, I got a three-day in-school suspension. <laughs> That's how we're starting it. For mooning Rodney Almond <laughs> in, in my uh, uh, exploring technologies class, <laughs> freshman year of high school. And uh, to hear, because I was on the other phone, because... Back then, when somebody called the home phone, one person was on the phone, you could pick up another phone and hear what was being said. And hearing my uh, vice principal tell my dad, uh, well, uh, Jeremy um, mooned another kid. <laughs> and my dad was pissed off and struggled so hard to keep it together at the same time. <laughs> And he was really only pissed that I did it in school, which, okay, yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> this may have been the same day he told me about the crabs thing. Uh, but no, um, yeah, I, I did that in a school classroom. <laughs> Teacher did not see me. I got told on by some fucking snitch. <laughs> I'm going to guess Rodney Almond, and he probably had every right. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. All right. Well, that was overrated uh, or underrated. Now we get to move on to Jeremy's fart. <laughs> Jeremy's favorite part. Jeremy's fart. Jeremy's fart. <laughs> Sorry. Jeremy's uh -huh. father's favorite part. <laughs> yeah. Derek tries to make me laugh every single time we start this episode with a fart. Mm. Uh, but anyways, no, Jeremy's... Then you complain about the smell of them when we get done. <laughs> right. Uh, Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for this, you can send them to us uh, on Instagram or TikTok, which is at laughing on the sidelines. 
First question, things I do not, I'm sorry, take that back. Things I do to show my feminine side. Um, bitch about the way I look and not do anything about it. <laughs> Damn it, you are right. <laughs> I do that. That's Fuck my feminine yeah. side. Absolutely. Then I go eat some ice cream. I'm like, God damn it, I'm fucking fat. Yeah. Let's go to Cold Stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if we walk there, I can lose some weight. <laughs> Um, but uh, let's drive. Yeah, <clears throat> this is a real one. Uh, I I cry whenever a dog dies, and see a video of it. Dude, that's not at all feminine. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not. Any boy who's ever seen Old Yeller Fuck. and says they didn't cry is fucking lying. They're lying like a motherfucker. No, like uh, I'll be scrolling through TikTok and it'll be like the last video of of a kid. You, you just <laughs> subscribe to some site that shows dogs dying. <laughs> no, no, it's TikTok, but it's like people I know and they have to put their dog okay, down. Okay, whatever. I start bawling like a little bitch. So yeah. that's my feminine thing that I do. Yeah, he also likes to tour hospice centers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually one of the only like three times that anyone is ever actually allowed to cry. I know, and I I, I agree with him. Yeah, it's sad. So sad, so that's sad. not at all feminine, mm-hmm. is what I'm saying. So you fucking sucked out. You, all right, fine. I go. Da- you, I like to dance. How about that? Oh Jesus Christ! Never mind. Because I can teach my wife how to dance. I taught did her not how to dance. need to hear that. Yeah, but anyways, uh, go ahead and go, Jeremy. Well, I complain about the wind. Um, <laughs> a lot and uh i also i don't know if this is really i do it to show my feminine side but it is certainly uh uh awfully queer of me uh i enjoy a good musical oh i don't know i don't know if that's that bad i I like fan of the opera newsies okay newsies okay I, I don't know that i've ever seen newsies fan of the opera sucks shit <laughs> uh i don't i don't like operatic uh musicals except for hamilton of course but uh I, I like the ones where it's like a regular play and then they break out into song. Like Book of Mormon was good. <laughs> Never saw it. I want to see it. No, no bullshit though. Seventeen seventy six. Have you ever seen it, that? Of course that I've is, seen it. I've got it memorized. That is my favorite one out of all of them. Okay, uh, next question. What's something weird that you would recommend everyone should? At- Ooh, I can't fucking talk. What's- That's fine. You want me to take over? No. <laughs> What's something weird that you recommend everyone should try at least once? Skydiving. And I think even some people should get parachutes. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Not a lot of them. Not me. I'd say about 18% of the people should get parachutes. But yeah. I'm going to say skydiving. Yeah. That is fucking awesome. I've done it. I think when your wife asks you, hey, honey, do I look fat in this outfit? I think <clears throat> you should tell her the truth and say, yep, and see what happens. I mean, it's a learning experience. I think you should go with it. So that's what I think. Jeremy? Uh, you've never done that. I have. <laughs> Yeah, because your wife looks fat and so much stuff, all eh. all seventy five pounds of her. <laughs> well, I gave her my honest. And opinion. I think she's taller than you. Nope. She and she could kick his ass. No. She's she's about as fat as the Olsen twins. Um, <laughs> well, they're getting kind of up there. Sure, there, they right? are. Yeah. Uh, so, no. Um, getting your nose hair waxed. I oh. did this one time, and it is fucking amazing. Just all of a sudden, the how free the air just goes in your nose. It's. I, I hate to shit on our sponsor. I'm not shitting on them, uh, but it, it is better than than using the weed whacker because it just gets it all completely. It's like a fucking caterpillar just got drug out of your nose. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, I bet that hurts like a motherfucker for half a second. <laughs> you really don't even have time to register the pain before you're like, oh my god, this is so much better. Oh man, I guess I will try that. Yeah, because I because that's my that my nose is so. Have fucking... get part of that mustache too. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> They should wax my beard, is what you're saying. I, I want them to leave like a trail of wax just down below, so you have <laughs> bald spots in your mustache, right where your nostrils he's got, are. He's got snot trails, uh-huh. yeah. So I could burn one yeah. half of it and stab the crab. You could do crop. that too. Yeah. I was just thinking you'd walk around, but no, your idea is way better, actually. <laughs> okay, fine. Jeremy's got a pocket knife. You can mm-hmm. <laughs> you're right. All right. Uh, next question. Name a group of people everyone hates. Easy. Juggalos. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Juggalos, try. okay. Juggalos are good. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I got mine. Okay. Salad-eating motherfuckers. Okay. All right. God, come fuck on. 
Yeah, we know what it means, guy. We just don't think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. Come on. Fucking vegans? Get the fuck out of here. Sure. I mean, they got to tell everybody well, they're vegan. Some people put meat on a salad. You Do ever they? hear of an egg salad? Yes. Chicken salad? Yes. Jello salad? Right. I'll put chicken in my jello salad. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like nice hunks of grilled chicken. Right. And like an orange jello with a cream cheese on top of right. it. Right. Oh. Yeah. I think I tell me he went vegan the other day and I didn't even think. I just went, oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> he's salad, he's like, motherfucker. He's like, there's all sorts of, what do you mean that sucks? And he's, he got real defensive and I'm like, it fucking, uh, it would suck for me, I guess. And he yeah. goes, Dude, they make vegan everything. They make vegan cheese. They make vegan chicken. I'm like, that's not fucking chicken. <laughs> I, I actually know people who are vegan who are like, until they find a way to make a decent vegan cheese, I'm still eating regular pizza. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess vegan cheese is horrific. Oh, that makes perfect sense because yeah. it's not fucking cheese. Mm -hmm. Jeremy? I can't believe it's not cheese. No shit. Really? Uh, mimes. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anybody say, hey, there's a mime. Yeah. Check it out. Right. Or mariachi band. Oh, no, I like mariachi bands. Not maybe from a distance. <laughs> but not but when they're not playing like in, in a restaurant. Yeah. Trumpets don't, there's there's no such thing as an electric trumpet. <laughs> That's where you can turn it Because they down. don't need amplifiers. <laughs> <laughs> they keep up with electric instruments just fine by themselves. They, That's right. They're uh, loud with even a mute. Yeah. Yeah. So, not, anyway. Okay, next one. Things written on the bathroom stall at Chuck E. Cheese. I found this marker while I was taking a shit in the ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> Want a piece of candy? Call 316-555-8429. Jeremy? Uh, for a good time, leave the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> they got all kinds of cool shit out there, guys. They do. And they got a kick-ass band. And a kick-ass ball pit. I, I wanted to manage that band so bad. <laughs> yeah. And, but they were already signed, man. Yeah. I think for a good time called Chucky would be pretty good. Too. Sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Last one. <clears throat> this month is LGBT Pride Month. Next month is blank. Straight Pride Month, along with the <laughs> other 10 months of the year. People get so fucking pissed off about fucking LGBT Month. Yeah. We're in Straight Pride Month. The other ones. <laughs> Who doesn't All like a nice ones. parade? Yeah, right? I want a I straight parade. Yeah. Come on. That's every parade. J and JP would be on it with us. I, I have to imagine that as long as things didn't get politicized... A gay pride parade would probably be the best party anybody ever fucking <laughs> Fuck went to. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it would. It really would. Uh, and they'd, it'd be like they'd clean up after it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very yeah, clean they people. Would. They would. I mean, like, goddamn, the street's cleaner than the guy here. Sure. <laughs> JP, though, he seems like the kind of gay dude that would have a dinner party, but like have it catered by Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> no Chuck E. Cheese. But uh, anyway. Uh, they I, don't cater, Scotty. Come they, on. They could. You don't. You don't, you don't, you, you you're don't being ridiculous know. now. You, you don't know. Somebody has to deliver that awful piece of shit pizza. Somebody wax that mustache. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got a real one. Uh, right now, it is it is Pride Month. Next month, mm -hmm. it is Redneck Weekend Month. I mean, it, that whole weekend of July what? is white people setting off fireworks in the middle of the night all month long. Think about what you mm, just said. I forgot about that. Son of a bitch. Yeah, think, it's true. Think about what you just said. I d I'm one of them. Redneck weekend month. Yeah, it's the month. But <laughs> it, but it's like it's their birthday. Like it's their birthday at the end of one week, but the whole month. You get the whole fucking month. Okay. It's true. Sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, you do. The Declaration of Independence wasn't even signed until all, all, actually all of it wasn't signed until like August the second. So well, that's why they keep blowing shit up the whole goddamn. Month. Exactly, it's for every uh, you know every other week <clears throat> after that. So yeah, that was month. ratified on July fourth. It God. was. We, we just had Willie Nelson here this weekend. We sure and shit there were did. Fifty thousand people there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I bet every one of those guys does <laughs> toward that fucking show. <laughs> that's true. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I'm gonna go. With Canadian Shame Month. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's just where you shame Canadians for oh. being Canadian. Oh, yeah? That's where I'm going next week. Canadian? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's going to Canada. Why? Scatter my dad's ashes. 
Oh. Yeah. Just bring, well, the show, bring the show up <laughs> a little bit. Uh, make sure to shame everybody while you're there. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna moon foreign cars while I'm doing it. Sure. <laughs> oh, good, a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in Canada, aren't all cars foreign? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Canada has a, a car manufacturer. If they do, I'm sure it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I got to get sunscreen for my ass. <laughs> right. Uh, I got to get a good SPF for that. What, what, yeah. what do you think I need for that? <laughs> for for your ass? Yeah, SPF what? Uh, 70. Yeah, at least uh, I, I'd go with 120. 120? Yeah, 120. 121, yeah. whatever it takes. Okay. All right. Well, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, JP was here last week. He didn't do so hot. So Nobody can fucking film shoes in the drafts. Uh, he, no, won he, the, he won the won, previous Yeah, time. he won the previous time. Did he? Yeah. I think he's the only one that's ever won. No, and then you, you won the next draft like 184 to 6. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but no, uh, Fred was the very first one to win a draft, and then JP won a couple weeks ago. So, uh, so this week because Derek was gone last week, he gets the uh, the first pick because he's a big fucking loser. Uh, Jeremy, shout out mm-hmm. to all my losers out there. Jeremy, uh, Jeremy mm. won. Uh, I sure did last week, so he gets the championship picks, and I sucked uh, as usual. Um, so I get the uh, I get the sandwich picks. All right. This week, it is going to be our favorite TV shows that got canceled before a series finale. All right? Okay. Okay. Uh, So, Derek, you get first pick. Don't make it stupid. Futurama. Oh, did it get canceled? Pretty sure it was canceled. Okay. I I thought they were still making new episodes. They're going to start again. If you don't want to let me have that, I won't take it. I don't care. It got. I'm pretty sure it got canceled. I, I got one that got canceled and it can and it re-upped again, so I, I'd say that's okay. And it, yeah, if it's re-upped fucking ten years later, it's been canceled twice. Oh really? Yes. Fuck that. Uh, well, all right, I, I, I say we're good with it. I'm gonna go with uh, uh, one that I watch it a shitload of, especially when I'm editing the the podcast. I, I just have it on the background, but yeah. Arrested Development. Okay, I, I love that show, and uh, I think they came back. It came out with like a kind of a thing, but it wasn't necessarily the season finale. So, Jeremy, you get two. I'm gonna go with The Wire. Okay, I okay. uh, love that show, and it just suddenly stopped. Okay, um, and then uh, Heroes. Yeah, okay, I saw that one. I mean, it was really going downhill that that third season, but and then they tried to bring it back like a with a whole new crew but it was just a limited run series and and it sucks shit too mm-hmm. uh so yeah heroes um I did i say heroes yeah you did say right. heroes mm-hmm. uh they had a they had a kick-ass nickelback theme song you remember that no okay uh i'm gonna go with a uh, a very very good uh hbo series uh that was only on the air for two years but i loved every fucking minute of it and that is deadwood okay mm. yeah i love the I think show it was on three wasn't it uh huh. Three seasons, wasn't it? No, two thousand and four to two thousand six. I guess uh, yeah, oh four, oh five, and oh six. Yeah, so three seasons. Yeah. And they left it on a fucking cliffhanger. They sure shit did. Those bastards. Uh, and then they made a movie that was awful. I didn't that watch completely the movie. bypassed whatever it was that happened. Right. <laughs> whatever that cliffhanger was, really didn't <laughs> even make mention to it. It's here they are, fifteen years later, much older and less interesting. Yep. Uh, Derek, you get two, man. King of the Hill. Did they cancel that? I believe for the Good Family. Oh, uh, okay. It got. Are you sure they didn't just stop? Yeah. If I if I Googled it correctly, I was gonna I say, say. I was gonna say. I don't know. Because, but King, something tells me they it, they did not. What I have is in a somewhat surprising move, the Fox Network has decided to cancel one of the staples of its Sunday night lineup. Oh, wow. On the eve of Halloween, King of the Hill has been canceled after 13 seasons on the air. Okay. Right, but did they have a chance to finish up the season and have a finale? I don't think uh, they did. Wait. I say that's No I, season four. Hang on. Cancels animated show, no season 14 TV series finale. Oh, uh, that sucks. Okay, but yeah, I'd say that's a good one then. And I also did also find uh, Futurama, so... Uh, that one's a good one. 
Okay, next one. Uh, Freaks and Geeks. Mm. Yeah, everybody likes I, I never watched it, man. I just couldn't get into it. It's pretty it. fucking funny. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. I'll I really like Sam Levine on it. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Um, I'm not going to get a lot of love for this one in particular, but I really did like this show. Um, I'm going to go with Person of Interest. I probably could have waited to the very end for that. I don't know that I've ever heard of that show. It has, um, oh, God, the guy that played Jesus in Passion of the Christ. Remember that guy? Hmm. Uh, in Passion of the Christ, wasn't that uh, Gerard Butler? No, it wasn't Gerard Butler. I know his name starts with J and C, but um, it was... Yeah, it, Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly. That was really him, dude. Yeah, that was, was actual footage. That was really that guy. Son of a bitch. I'll look it up. But um, but no, it, it's actually a good show. It's kind of the same thing as like Eagle Eye. Remember the movie Eagle Eye? That has like a, a software that, that basically goes into all the cameras with Shia and LaBeouf? shit. LaBeouf? Yeah, that yeah. movie. But this guy is using a machine like that for good to keep people from getting murdered and stuff like that. It's actually, it was really interesting. So, hmm. but anyways, uh, go ahead and go, um, uh, Jeremy, you get two. All right. I like this show and most people probably never heard of it. Uh, cause it was only one season flash forward. Oh, on Disney. No. Uh, it's a, uh, or no, is that what it was called? Flash Forward? I think this is the show that I'm thinking of. Oh, my God. Really? Um, there was one on Disney. Well, there was one on Disney called... Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is this is the one that I'm thinking of here. Um, basically, everybody in the world blacks out for like 30 seconds, and mm-hmm. they see, they dream of what's in their future, Ooh. and everything that they dream of comes true in like six months, Ooh. and people who didn't dream, that meant you died before then, Ooh. And, and it... It really left that on a fucking cliffhanger, What too. was it called? Flash Forward. Okay. But it will just piss you off if you watch it. <laughs> I mean, it was an incredibly intriguing, in-depth storyline, but nobody watched it. It was on, I think it had a shitty time slot or something. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then I'm going to go Firefly. Okay. Yeah, that's the other one that's on a whole bunch Joss of people. Joss Whedon. My wife loves that show. It was only on one season, I believe. <sighs> that's too bad. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with my next one, and I'm not going to get a lot of love for it, and I don't give a flying fuck. Down East Dickering on the History Channel. Mm-hmm. I love that show. It was only... Uh, I love the term. <laughs> I'm sure you do. That's, <laughs> that's dicker. That's right. But it only was on air for two seasons, and it was such a good <clears throat> fucking show. I like. I was hoping that it would be like over the top with arm wrestling, except they would pull out their dicks <laughs> and just <laughs> intertwine them somehow and see whose was the strongest, and that's who got the best prize. No, it's uh, it was such a good fucking show. I, I hope all those guys are doing good, because I liked every one of well, them. Well, they're sure bargaining for every dollar. No, I'm sure they are. Derek, last two picks. Uh, let's go with uh, the Oblongs. Okay, never heard of that. That was Will Ferrell was the dad. He had no arms or legs, and he played Bob. <laughs> no, no shit. Uh, Bob? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. They're they're basically like weebles that just bounce around and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then uh, a lot of cartoons on mine. Okay. Uh, Eastbound and Down had a series finale. I yes, believe, it did because mm-hmm. I was looking for it. Yeah. Uh, let's go with, there was a show on HBO that was one season that I really liked, um, with Jason Bateman in it called the outsider. Okay. I believe is what it was called. And it was a guy that would like, he would, it was a, I don't know what it was. It was a creature and it would kill somebody. And when it killed you, it took on your form. Uh huh. I do remember remember that. that? Yeah. I do remember seeing that. Yeah. Um, that's a good pick, man. Um, I want to point out the, uh, the main actor for, uh, for point of interest or person of interest is, uh, Jim Caviezel. Oh, Jim Caviezel. Ca- Caviezel. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, that's the guy that's in, uh, uh, person of interest. But I like so. the way you said it better. Caviezel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to go with that then. Okay. So, uh, my last pick, I've got a, I've got a couple, um, but I, I'm going to go with with one that I, I really, really loved. And it turned out it ended up getting canceled because the two guys that they were using got fucking heated with each other and pissed off. And that is Dual Survival. Um, I fucking love those kind of shows. And uh, it was great. And they could never rectify it with these two guys. 
uh, and they tried to have two other dudes come in, and it just didn't work. So, ah, damn. I just yeah. thought of one. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if King of the Hill. If King of the Hill doesn't count, I have another one. I think it counts. King of the Hill counts. Okay. And I think it's a good pick. I think you'll end up winning the draft with that one. Jeremy? Uh, I want to make sure that this show was canceled before I pick it. Okay. So you guys talk amongst yourselves. Um, or don't. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, Dual Survival was fucking legit. Uh, there was another one called Wild Man that I watched, but they I think they had a season finale with that. It was like the whole Bear, Bear Grylls thing, only it was there fucking was, there real. There was a Survivor Man that was really good. That's what I'm talking That's about. Like, Survivor Man? Yeah, that yeah. was good. He was good. He's a Less fan. something. Less I mean, Stroud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Canadian. Yeah. From, from Canada. With I like watching Alone. Do you watch that? I started watching I Alone. I love that and show. It, it is very, very good. I, I really wish I could uh, do that kind of shit, but Fuck, me too. I'd never see you again. Never fucking see anybody ever again. It'd be oh, amazing. Okay, I think I no, can. No, I mean I wish you could do that. Oh sure. <laughs> I think I can pick this pick this one because it was originally slated for a season six, but it got it did not get renewed. That wound up getting canceled. So while they didn't actually have a an actual series finale, I think this counts as a canceled show. So Chuck. Chuck? Yeah. Okay. You ever see that show? Uh uh-uh. That chick is so fucking hot. <laughs> She's Australian. Ooh. Is it yeah. Margot Robbie? No, it's Yvonne something or other. I, I had a couple uh, uh, honorable mentions. You you had some too, I think. Yeah. Uh, I had Oz. Okay, yeah. And the one that I was going to go with, if King of the Hill didn't count, would have been Hardcore Pawn. Oh, fuck. You like that show? I fucking oh, I loved it. I don't care. I know it was staged. And no, but I, I don't care. I fucking loved it. I don't it. care if it was scripted as a motherfucker. It was still pretty damn good. Just people I losing their it. shit. Um, I had a couple of one. Storage Wars. Uh, That's not, still on, isn't it? No. No. Storage Wars is not. still on? No. Fuck no. Uh, I don't even know if they had an, uh, an a finale or anything like that, but... Um, there was that one. I had a couple other ones that I was thinking of, but nobody would probably fucking know of. Uh, there was a guy named, uh, Jordan that would hunt toys on the discovery the toy channel. Hunter. Toy hunter. It only was like three seasons or two seasons. It was fucking awesome. It made me think that my Ninja Turtles were going to be worth something and they probably are, but storage Wars is back Las for Vegas. a brand new season in 2022. Fuck yeah. Let's go. It's still on. It's never been off. Uh, well, that show Las Vegas. They left that on a fuck, like like a real cliffhanger. Tom Selleck shows up. Everybody thought he had died in a plane crash, and they shows up at a wedding, and they just leave it with him walking into the building, and they cut, and they never made another fucking episode. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, guys. So I guess we'll never never yeah. get to know what happened to that stash. I guess we'll never know. I'm guessing he waxed it down the nostrils. And I wasn't <laughs> sure if Beavis and Butthead was actually canceled or uh, not, I so I didn't pick that one. I don't know. It really didn't have an overarching storyline. No, nah. and they're making they're making new ones uh, here. I know they are with Futurama. They're finally picking sure. it up, but it's been canceled two times. I think that counts. Yeah. Sure. I'd say so. All right, guys, but that is our lists of uh, our favorite TV shows that were canceled prematurely. You can go on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for you the list that you like the best and also uh, comment the uh, shows that you think uh, you would have drafted if you were in that particular situation. Um, but, yeah. Uh, use the corresponding emoji that shows us which list you like the best. Uh, whoever wins gets championship next picks or ne- championship picks next week. And that's about it. So now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, In 1856, after a series of very poor harvests, many members of the Mormon church were looking to migrate to what they consider their promised land of Utah, which is just what a fucking hip organization that this is. They think Utah kicks ass. <laughs> uh, but uh, they, they wanted to migrate there from areas east of the Mississippi. Um, so basically a bunch of them all got together. And uh, at the time, of course, this is well before uh, automobiles were, were a real thing. And so most people traveled by horse and buggy. And so these folks chose to uh, use hand carts. <laughs> hand carts. <laughs> And in October of 1856, they all departed for the wonderful land of Utah. 
October. That ensures that they're basically going to be traveling through the Midwest like Nebraska and Kansas in the middle of the fucking winter. Who could see anything go wrong with that? The only thing apparently Mormons do worse than make travel plans, however, is make fucking hand carts. Because uh, after not too long, their hand carts started falling behind or started falling apart. And so they had to leave a lot of their uh, supplies and warm clothes behind. Uh, once they started getting into the colder weather, it became apparent that their guides had no idea where the fuck they were going. However, they really needed people to have faith in them that they would get them there. And so to encourage them to not turn around and backtrack, they uh, burned all of the excess blankets and warm clothes just to make sure that you have no choice but to follow us. Now, eventually they did make it to Utah, and uh, of the 912 people who left, 210 of them died from either starvation, hypothermia, or disease. And now your child can recreate the magic of this entire journey using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, find another fucking religion, folks. <laughs> This sounds an awful lot like the Oregon Trail. It was uh, different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they had the sense to use horse and buggy, at least. Yeah, it's true. And I think that was well before this. Right. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather get mooned everywhere you go by somebody with a disgusting ass and they spread it wide open, or... Anytime the wind blows, the windy lady materializes out of nowhere and annoys the fuck out of you. This fucking wind! <laughs> it's like Jimmy Carter is in the room <laughs> with us. You mean Jimmy Durante? Yeah. Yeah, this that's right. fucking wind! Ha cha 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 cha! <laughs> Scotty didn't even get that joke and he's laughing. <laughs> because it's there. Well, Carter and Durante sounded a lot alike. <laughs> looked, looked almost identical. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm going with getting mooned everywhere. I I can look away. I, I can't. I, annoying fucking voices. Well, no, you uh, can't. Not for the purpose of this. Okay, fine. I don't care. I, I do not like people with loud, screechy voices in the first place. But if they're yelling about the wind and I live in fucking Kansas... Mm -hmm. This is never going to go away. Could and it's you never imagine her a bad wind surge game? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting mooned. Or after eating a lot of Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There. Huh? This <laughs> fucking wind. Oh, my God. Uh, God. Uh, I don't know. I can't imagine trying to eat with just asshole in my face. <laughs> 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 like, like, is this something, would your waiter do it every time that he brought it to your table? And here's your check. <laughs> he pulls the ace manager yeah. But bare ass. But bare ass. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, just for that reason alone, I got to go with the fucking wind lady. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, no. Oh, I can't stare down Devil's Alley, man. <laughs> I did it to my wife, and God, with karma is always like, what, tenfold? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I got to go with the fucking wind. Oh, Lord. Jeremy? I, I'm going to go. I, yeah, I have no choice. I have to go with getting mooned. Uh, <laughs> hearing about this lady pisses me off. <laughs> Knowing that she exists and hearing you do the voice again pisses me off just as much as it did the first fucking time. I, I think I can either laugh at getting mooned or... Just shrug it off as same old shit, different day. Mm -hmm. uh, I would eventually go to prison for murdering that woman. <laughs> Sooner probably than later. So, yeah. I'd, I just got this new knife. And, uh, Very good. It's good for stabbing assholes. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they still do it. They mm -hmm. do. But anyways, Going guys. Glass breaker first. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, that is this week's episode. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. We sincerely do appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keep liking and sharing uh, the show, the podcast, the TikTok channel. That is how we are growing, and we sincerely do appreciate every single one of you for doing that. Uh, Derek uh, is going to have a pretty busy schedule for the next couple of months, so uh, we're going to try to have on as uh, a lot of good guests as much as we possibly can. 
eventually try to find my fucking replacement. Um, but oh, yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I wonder what that wind lady's doing. I, oh, fuck. <laughs> I guarantee you, Derek wouldn't miss near so many episodes if I were if here. we found your replacement. Right. Um, We'd still have to use your house, though. That's you true. Know, I can just imagine. I'd have to Welcome to the Laughing on the Sidelines <laughs> podcast. My name's the wind lady, and right next to me are two excellent stand-up comedians. <laughs> Jesus First, Christ. the 1984 <laughs> Kingman County Team All Defensive Player of the Year, Mr. Jeremy, this fucking win, Joseph. <laughs> Just, it's like there are two Scotties in the room right now. It's uncanny. <laughs> you got I your, never realized how much Scotty sounded like Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> you got your knife, Jeremy. You can I, use uh, it. No, I somehow it, it makes me feel better coming from him rather than you. <laughs> okay, just fair. knowing it's not you. Fine. Uh-huh. Uh, but thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. As we always say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you buy a rooster costume and two kids chase you around with a rusty <laughs> steak knife. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemy. And until next time, it's God. finger licking good. <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.